more Nigerian medical practitioners may leave the country as the United Kingdom on Wednesday, July 15, 2020, announced a new aid and care visa policy to attract the best talents in Nigeria and other parts of the world. The country, which has since the outbreak of COVID-19 stopped the issuance of visas, opened the immigration window for care professionals, social workers, and their families to boost its national health service, NHS. The new visa policy aims to make it cheaper, quicker, and easier for healthcare professionals to come to the UK beginning from August. Findings show that UK is one of the leading destinations for, migra- for migrating Nigerian health workers. Estimates have it that there are over 4,000 Nigerian doctors in the UK spread across 83 sub-specialties. Just recently, the Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, at the Munsala Mohammed International Airport, MM1A, Lagos, intercepted 58 Nigerian doctors who attempted to attempted traveling to the UK without visa. The 58 medical doctors were refused departure in line with Section 31, Subsection 2A and B on powers conferred on the Controller General of Nigeria Immigration Service by the Immigration Act 2015 to prohibit departure of any person under the conditions stated in the Act. The doctors were said to be traveling to a training program. The UK Home Office and Secretary of State for Health and Social Care had on Tuesday announced that the new health and health and care visa would be launched this summer, creating a new fast-track visa route for eligible health and care professionals and delivering on a key manifesto commitment. According to details of the statement, it has been designed to make it easier and quicker for the best global health professionals to work in the NHS. For NHS commission service providers and in eligible occupations in the social care sector, it further said that the legislation needed to open this new route would be laid in parliaments and health professionals would be able to apply from August. The UK government statements said that the new health care, health and care visa would come with a reduced visa application fee compared to that. That that paid by other skilled, including by other skilled workers, including exemption from the immigration health surcharge. Health and care professionals applying on this route can also expect a decision on whether they can work in the UK within just three weeks, following biometric enrollment. Those working in health and social care who do not qualify for the health and care visa will still be able to claim. A reimbursement from the immigration as surcharge if they have paid this on or after March 31st, the statement added. UK Home Secretary Priti Pate said, We are indebted to overseas aid and care professionals for their tremendous contributions, not just in saving thousands of lives throughout this crisis, but for the vital role they, they play year round. She added that the health and care professionals from all over the world have played a vital role in hospitals and care homes across the country fighting coronavirus. The the introduction of the health and care visa follows a number of unprecedented measures to show the UK's gratitude to health workers from overseas, she said. Medical experts in separate conversation with the Guardian warned that despite the turning back of some 58 UK-bound doctors at the airport by the NIS, more of their colleagues and other health workers were set to leave the country. They blamed the situation on poor working conditions and environment, lack of work opportunities, rising living costs, high taxes and deductions from salary, low work satisfaction, poor salaries and emoluments. They said... For some others, frustrations and despair about the devastation of family life, crime, insecurity, personal health, and concerns about the education of children are enough reasons to pull up stakes and leave the shores. They said most health worker facilities do not leave, do not have functional equipment, thus Nigerian doctors work blind. They noted that more Nigerian doctors are going to leave for Niger for overseas owing 
So global COVID-19 induced shortage of medical personnel and the fact that many countries were attracting medics with mouth-watering packages. It is believed that for health workers, specific advantage, advantages come with searching for greener pastures abroad. In 2018, a total sum of $25,000 billion was remitted to Nigeria from the diaspora, constituting a whooping 6% of Nigeria's gross domestic product, GDP, and the equivalent of 83% of the country's total national budget for that year. The sum was more than Nigeria's combined total earnings from oil and gas for the same year. Experts, however, said the 58 doctors that were stopped last week at the airport by NIS have left the country again. A consultant pediatric surgeon and chief medical director, CMD, of Lagos University Chin Hospital, Luth Idiaraba, Chris Bode, told The Guardian that immigrating health workers were of special concern for four reasons saying we do not have enough workers in this vital sector. We make huge investments to produce them. Richer nations simply harvest these workers free from our system. We seem powerless to stop the trend. But they said popularly quoted figures indicate that about half of Nigeria's estimated 72,000 registered doctors practice abroad. He said the trend seems to have escalated lately with both fresh graduates and those already in the residency training program fleeing in droves. The surgeon said the country could not meet its sectional goals in healthcare if principal actors abandoned the theater of operation for greener pastures. With a doctor-to-patient ratio of 1 to 4,000 as against the World Health Organization, WHO, WHO prescribed ratio of 1 to 600. It has been said that assuming no doctor leaves this country after being trained, going by the number coming from our medical schools every year, it will take us about 100 years to have the number of doctors we need. Why do Nigerian, Nigeria's medical health workers leave? But they said skilled manpower emigrates mainly because of economic instability and poor labor conditions in their native country, which seem to push them out unwanted, unappreciated, unrewarded into the hands of advanced, economically prosperous nations, which pull in such skilled, skilled laborers, especially because the number of working age people is already shrinking in many such later countries. He said in support of this is the high fatality rate in the midst of developing nations, nation's poverty as compared with the zero or negative population growth in the affluent advanced countries. The surgeon said with the ongoing Brexit in Broglie and its uncertainties, many health workers from the Europe Union fled the uncertainties in the UK. He said a British Medical Association BMA survey of more than 15,000 general practitioners, GPs, found that 9% of GPs hope to leave the UK to work overseas in the next five years. Amongst GP trainees, the, this figure was even higher at 21%, but they said these gaps have been an opportunity for Nigeria healthcare workers to exploit and account for the bulk of doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers presently heading for the UK. The surgeon said it is projected that the shortage gap for nurses in the USA will rise from a 2015 figure of 20% to 28.8% by next year. Olada Boashiru, a medical director of Medical Arts Center, Maryland, Ikeja, Lagos, and joint pioneer of in vitro fertilization, IVF, IVF in Nigeria, said, as more doctors leave the shores of Nigeria, the healthcare system is in a deficit which can negatively impact the well-being of its populace. Ashiru said the doctors would travel at any given opportunity. There is a craving for greener pastures abroad and the doctors are better compensated for their services there. They also have the opportunity to practice where they have the ambulance of state of the art technologies he said, Ashiru said the exodus is not limited to the young doctors. Consultants and every senior doctors are in the queue. Okay. 
Ugochuku Kalesin Chuku Neye, a medical director and consultant of obstetrician and gynecologist at Optimum Specialist Hospital Limited, Suruli, Lagos State, said the true situation is that most Nigerian youths have been brainwashed into believing that life is very difficult to live in Nigeria and better in any other country, especially overseas. This brainwashing starts early in many homes and primary schools. It continues in the secondary schools and perfected in the polytechnics, colleges of education and universities, medical schools. That is why there are many Nigerian youths suffering in other African countries and in overseas countries today. The Nigerian medical doctors and over and other health workers are a subset of the Nigerian youth. As long as we continue to run government without accurate sensor and detailed plans for many for every citizen, the situation will persist and continue to deteriorate. Shoga Shofola, an emeritus professor of psychology college of medicine university of lagos said hundreds of young doctors have been recruited in the uk in the past couple of years after passing the exams there is shortage of doctors in the uk and nigerian doctors have been found to be competent it is mostly brain drain as they have a better life elsewhere compared to nigeria with poor salary and poor conditions of service etc simon aguali a virologist vaccinologist and chief executive officer ceo of innovative biotech limited kefi said i am not surprised with this arrangement because of shortage of medical personnel due to covid 19 globally and, ma and many countries are attracting medics or to their countries with very attractive package packages as you know in a globalized economy the countries that pay the most and offer the greatest chance for advancement tend to get the top talent. For example, the Council of Physicians and Nurse Supply estimates that in 10 years, the United States could have a shortage of 200,000 doctors. These positions must be filled and from where? Of course, the developing countries. Can you imagine? You can, you can imagine, guys, if you don't appreciate what you will have, other people will appreciate it. And somebody is saying here that the Nigerians are bad people as portrayed by the West, but our doctors and health workers are good enough for them. We are brilliant people, but not blessed with brilliant leaders. Exactly. You know, most of the time, I'm always surprised that, okay, they will tell you our, our uh, level of education is not, it's nothing, nothing to write home about. And the same place you are bringing people. Just like the person said, they are not good. You say they are not good. They are not good. But when it comes to when it comes to life, you know that they are good. Is it not the same education that people always look down on? The same education they got it from Nigeria. They got the same experience, and now you want those experience and whatever in your in your country. But do you blame them? We don't blame them because we don't have a best brain uh, leaders. All of them just want money, 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 money. See the way they are disgracing themselves. And they will not even be bothered. The government will not be bothered to say, what are we going to do? The other day, Chris Ngege was saying, we have enough doctors, this and this and that. You know, they will just talk as if uh, I don't just understand. You are just in a position whereby it is the, the collective effort of the people that make the money that you guys will just sit down and begin to, because, because of that position, you begin to, they begin to misbehave. You see, what you don't appreciate, other people will appreciate it. So guys, uh, let us hear your opinion. You think you, you are going to be blaming these people uh, uh, they're for living. Who is going to see a good offer and will not want to jump at it? So guys, uh, let's have your own contribution in the comment section. It's very, very painful and so, so, so hurtful.